This is one of my portable QRP antenna couplers. It's fairly small, ideal for portable QRP and can match an NFED wire on most bands between 7 and 28 MHz. There's a plastic dielectric variable capacitor and there's four inductors, one across each switch. If you want to reduce the inductance then you just flick a switch and it shorts it out. The values of the inductance are in binary order. That is 0.5, 1, 2 and 4 microhenry. When you do it that way you have 16 steps of inductance from 0 to 7.5 microhenry. The steps are 0.5 microhenry apart. The only problem with this coupler is it doesn't do 80 meters. That's particularly a concern as we head towards the low sunspot part of the cycle. Even 40 meters can be closed for some short distance paths on HF. It can be frustrating that you can hear signals on 80 meters and not be able to respond as you've got the wrong coupler. In this video I'll talk about modifications I made to this coupler so it can do 80 meters. The first thing you need is greater inductance. 7.5 microhenry total isn't quite enough for an L match on 80 meters. It needs to be about double that. I didn't want any more switches so I had to make a sacrifice. Instead of inductors being 0.5, 1, 2 and 4, I opted to go for 1, 2, 4 and 8. That gives you an inductance up to 15 microhenry, which is enough for an 80 meter antenna coupler. The only downside is your steps are less fine. Instead of 0.5 microhenry, it's 1 microhenry. This coarser step really only affects the coupler's usability on the higher HF bands, say 21 to 28 megahertz. But given the stage of the solar cycle, we're likely to be using 3.5 megahertz more often. What you do is you remove the 0.5 microhenry inductor, wind another inductor, which is about 8 microhenry, and then move them along so that the 1 microhenry goes where the 0.5 was, the 2 microhenry goes where the 1 was, and the 4 microhenry goes where the 2 was. That creates an extra position here for the 8 microhenry. The 8 microhenry has more turns and is round on a bigger toroid. This is 39 turns with a long tail as I haven't cut it off yet and on the LCR45 9.43. So to get the inductance low we'll first of all cut off the excess tail then we'll spread the turns around and if it's still too high we'll remove a few turns. It's down to 8.9. Remove two turns and it's very close. If I spread them out a bit, bunch the turns slightly, and it's spot on. So we're increasing the inductance, what about the capacitance? If you do find that the 220 picofarad in the variable capacitor isn't enough, you can just connect the external capacitor across it. That gives you up to 440 picofarad, which should be sufficient. We're testing the inductance and the switches. This is with all the inductance switched out. This is with our one microhenry in. Two, four, eight. If we switch them all in, four plus eight is twelve, plus two gives us fourteen, and when they're all in, it's fifteen. To try out the antenna coupler, I'll try some SSB contacts and do a bit of whisper. I'm using an NFED wire, 20 metres long, supported by a squid pole.
This has been a worthwhile little modification. The antenna coupler is much more versatile. Yes, there's a bit less tuning range on 15 through to 10 meters, but given the sunspot cycle trends, I'm going to get more use from it now that it can also do 80 meters. As for the antenna, well, I find that 20 meters of wire, which is a quarter wave on 80 meters, might not tune up quite as easily as one a bit longer, say 25, 30, or even 40 meters. The latter is an N-fed half wave and to support it you might need an extra squid pole or a convenient location where you can just tie the end of the antenna off to a tree. Even though you might not have much height, propagation can be such that you can do better on 3.5 megahertz for certain distances than on 7 megahertz and up. If you want to get the most from Amateur Radio, check out books by Peter Parker, VK3YE. Titles include Minimum QRP, Hand Carried QRP Antennas, Getting Back Into Amateur Radio, and 99 Things You Can Do With Amateur Radio. Visit VK3YE.com or search their titles on Amazon.